Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. We're going to get into the big one, the heavyweights, the big boys. Tyson Fury, Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, and Jill Zhang, uh, which will be Saturday on the big five on five, five versus five card, whatever, whatever they're calling it. Uh, this is going to be a good one. This was interesting to pick. Some hard fights to pick this week between this and and the Ford Ball video, which I just did yesterday. Check that one out. That's a great one. That's one of the hardest fights I've ever had to pick. But before we get into Wilder and Zhang, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Follow me on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. Show you how to bring down the house and consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I can show you how to make money consistently betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, there's always a bull market somewhere. Let's bring, bring down the house together. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Just $5 a month gets you the lock of the week. It gets you a ton of other perks. Just $5 a month. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in that little banner below. Also, subscribe to your other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. <laughs> All right. Let's get into this big one. Wilder. He did not look good against Joseph Parker. Zhang lost, but he lost competitively, dropped him twice, lost a close decision. Wilder may have lost every round. I, I I just watched it again. Like he really had no moments in that fight. But that fight is sandwiched. Well, I shouldn't say sandwiched. It comes on, on off of two really good fights. The the, the first round knockout of Hellenius and the second the third fight with Fury which he dropped Fury twice and nearly stopped him twice. That's saying something. Oh, that, that fight was a couple of years ago. He hasn't been active. How much is left? He's 38. Zhang's 41. So if we're saying Wilder shot, Zhang's 41. Zhang is considerably older than Wilder. Wilder is a front foot guy. Operates on his freakish po power, obviously. He was going backwards against Parker way more than I like. Now, obviously, his power is at the end of his punches. You're going to want to get inside on him. I know that's a dangerous thing to do. Like uh, Teddy Atlas says, you got to get through the, to the eye of the storm. You got to get through some rough weather to get to the eye of the storm. It's safe there. This guy's got freakish power. It literally takes one. Like he says, you, you have to be perfect for, for 36 minutes. I just have to be perfect for one second. He, he rips off big shots, right? We, we all know Wilder. I mean, this is almost dumb and stupid to have to go over it. Decent speed for a guy, 6'7", 83-inch reach. Excellent timing. Sets up the right hand. You guys can hate on him, and you can say I'm a Wilder lover. I'm just being – you don't knock out as many guys in a row as he knocked out if you suck. And I understand his resume is not the best. But this is not – we're not critiquing Wilder here. We're going over what he does well. He's got excellent timing. He gets a little wild. He's easy to hit. He's really easy to catch if you sit in. He has a ton of heart. True warrior. Will fight till his death. He's, he's got a durable chin, but it gets hit way too much. Looks like he's losing his legs a little bit. He's using them a little more, and, and I think that's a bad combination. He's getting old. He's not what he was, although he can still hit, obviously. Seems a bit slower, like I said. He still has that jab. It's a flicky jab. It's, it's long. It's quick. He flicks it out there. I've always been a fan of his jab. Going backwards is not his move. Like I said, we saw that in the Parker fight. He does not want to go backwards. Don't go backwards. Stay on the front foot. Keep the distance. Stick the jab out. Parker, not Parker, my brain. Zhang is not a difficult guy to win rounds with. You got to beat him on volume. You got to, but that, you, if you're throwing in volume, he's not going to be able to get inside on you. If he can't get inside, you have a three-inch reach advantage. You have a speed advantage. He has freakish power, too, so I don't want to get into – it doesn't matter who hits harder. If either guy lands, this fight can be over all in one, in one second. So it doesn't matter who hits harder because both guys hit plenty hard, but they can knock you out with one shot at, at, at any point and late. Both guys have a pretty good chin. Zhang is an it's shorter 
and gives up about three inches in reach. Southpaw, he's in line for the right hand. He doesn't move well. He got clean, short punches, powerful, but he's got to get inside. He's got good timing on his shots. He needs to come forward. So, I mean, if if Wilder stands his ground, flips his jab, Zhang's going to walk into something eventually. And I like Zhang. And like I said, Zhang off of his last three fights, the two with Joyce and Parker, has looked way better than Wilder did in his last fight. But stylistically, I just can't see, unless he just lands something big early, which he could, how he's going to really beat Wilder. Like, someone is getting taken out in this fight. I love the under. I love this fight to end by knockout. We'll get into that in, in a minute. Given what Zhang does, he's just this bull. He, he can throw a little bit in two and three punch combinations. He's got a good jab. The left hand is a ton of pop on it. He's, he's, he got, he's very stationary, right? He can't, he's not moving too much. Really heavy hands, though. So he's got to sit in there and throw shots. If he sits in there and throws shots with Wilder in line for his right hand and he can't move that well, I can't, like, Wilder's going to knock him out at some point. I really think so. And that's kind of my, my gut there. He's slow. He's, he's, he's behind that high guard. I mean, he's defensively responsible, but he's just, he's not very fast. Right and like, how is he gonna avoid Wilder for twelve rounds? I I don't see it. So look, this is a hard fight to pick because either guy could get knocked out. I'm picking Wilder, and again, DraftKings is killing me. So I'm gonna take Wilder on our normal bet. I'm confident Wilder wins. One hundred dollar bet makes us one thirty five. I want you to join the Patreon. Join the Patreon five dollars a month. It's five dollars a month. Don't be ridiculous. Five dollars a month. Join the Patreon. We are going to either look at the over, under, and take the under, or we're going to bet the prop for this fight to not go the distance, right? A lot of times there'll be a prop. Do you think this fight goes the distance? No, we do not. That's going to be the big bet. We're going to bet heavy on that. That's also probably really good for our parlay. Let's wait for the odds to come out. When the odds come out, join the Patreon. Let's take a look at that prop together because that is the prop I want to touch. That's what I want to bet. This fight's not going to go the distance. Someone, one of these old men, is getting knocked out. I think it's going to be Zhang. The odds makers say it's going to be Wilder that gets knocked out. Let's take a look at that prop together, and let's make that our heavy bet. Or we could take the under, depending on what the odds on that are. Let's take a look at that. Join the Patreon. $5 a month. Link is in the description. It's in the banner. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, but that's our bet. $100 on Wilder, and we're going to wait. We're going to wait for that prop to come out. And when it does, we're going to bet big for this fight not to go the distance. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Like I said, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in that banner below. It is May 28th, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.